happen today? Yes, Daddy. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Peppa and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and... Uh, uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The, the sea, sea, the sky, the sky, sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbits. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grumpy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. Grampy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boots with a bit of washing machine? Yes. That's as good as new. Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch. Aye. Amazing! It floats. You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down here.
here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that's stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Yay! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Whoa! Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No, oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK, Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead?
Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy. It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right. To the hospital! Quickly now! Don't panic! Bye! Bye! Good luck! Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all! Pillows, scented candles, yoga music and enough food for three days! Don't panic! Don't panic! Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside, then. Can I come, too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Squeak, Daddy! You missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both! <coughs> We've got baby twins! Wow! It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello! Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names? Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> 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 Mr Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box. <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa, my Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. 
Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. <coughs> Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. <laughs> George! Richard Rabbit is here! <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Ah. Bye-bye, Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later! George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> George! Richard! You've knocked my house down! Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! dinosaur. George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. Potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about potato. rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. <laughs> George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> this sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> we will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. Yes, George. <coughs> the desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, 
You look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert <laughs> island. The dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. twit to woo And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There, one cup. Wow! <sniffs> that looks easy. Would you like to try? Yes, please. <laughs> it's all slimy. <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong. Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit Bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. <laughs> Tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know, George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes, let's fill it with water. <laughs>
is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness, so many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe. Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. <sighs> And who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> it is Zoe Zebra with her daddy, Mr Zebra the Postman. Hello, Mr Zebra. <sniffs> Have you got our post? Oh, oh, no deliveries today. It's my day off. Nay! We're having a picnic lunch. <sniffs> so are we. I know. Why don't we make one big picnic? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what a splendid picnic. <sniffs> Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice. And we've got pretend cake. <laughs> 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 it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh dear. I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says, the best cake ever. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye bye, Zoe. Bye bye. Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have...
have a go? And me, Twink. 